Okay, today I want to talk about uh, a type of problem that comes up in calculus pretty frequently where you have to use the difference quotient, the definition of a derivative, um, to answer a question that is um, really just asking for the limit. So um, the problem that we're going to be, that gets asked, is something like this, where you have the limit as h approaches 0. Oops. You have the limit as h approaches 0 of a fairly ugly expression. Okay, so one way to approach this is to try and expand everything and simplify and hope that an h cancels out so that you can solve the limit. Now some of these, this one might be doable. Some of them though, that's going to be um, impossible. So I'm going to show you um, a way to handle those kinds of problems and also a way to handle this problem, this type of problem that might be doable algebraically, um, but in an easier way. Uh, so it all relies on the difference quotient, like I said at the beginning of the video. So remember, this is the definition of a derivative at a point, right here. All right, so it's the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h, where a is the x value that you're evaluating the derivative at, minus f of a divided by h. So if we look down here at the problem that we have, if we can identify what a is, and we can identify what the function is, then we can just take the derivative of the function. So let's move the problem up here okay so just looking at this and knowing what I know about the definition of a derivative it looks like a is going to be 3 you can see that it shows up here 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 and here and the question is if that's a in all of those spots what is the function well if you haven't already guessed it looks like it's going to be this f of x equals x squared plus x, okay? And so you can get that. Um, I think it's actually a little bit easier to look at this part of the function here, or this part of the limit, because you can see that you've just plugged in the a value there. If a is 3, you plugged in 3 into the function. So it's 3 squared um, minus 3. And actually, this should be subtraction. I'm sorry. This should be subtraction because I distributed the negative from the um, difference quotient there. So that should be subtraction. You can see that right here, that it should be subtraction. Okay. But um, once you have the function and you know you're evaluating it at 3 in this case, we just want to answer this question then. What is f prime of 3? Well, we can find f prime. f prime is 2x minus 1. Okay, so f prime at 3, prime of 3, will be 2 times 3 minus 1, which gives you 5. And that's it. So that's what that limit is. So when you see a problem like this, you want to think, okay, what is the function and what is the x value that it's being evaluated at? And once you know those two things, you can just find the derivative and plug it in. Much easier than doing the algebra here or in a problem where it was impossible, maybe using natural logs or something. Um, it's, it's the only method to use to solve the problem, to solve the limit. 